Hello guys, welcome back. This is RP Excellent. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to remove a worksheet password using VBA and without using VBA. So let me open a file which has a worksheet password. So I have three sample files here with worksheet passwords. Actually, it's the same file. I mean, it has the same contents. It was just saved in a different format. So as you can see, we have here the XLSX and XLSB. And here's another one which includes a workbook protection. And it's on XLSX um, file format. So let me show you this current workbook that's open. So if I try to modify any cells within this worksheet, it's not gonna let me because it is password protected. If you right click from this tab, you would see unprotect sheet, which means it's gonna ask for a password. On sheet 2, it doesn't have any password so I can type anything here. And on sheet 3, it's also password protected. So I'm gonna close this file and I'll show you this um, first VBA code which is linked to this code. As you can see, this is the source of the code. So I'll show you the entire code. All right. Actually, you don't really need to understand everything in this code. You can just copy this and put it in your modules. And you can go ahead and use it. Alright, so that's the entire code. I'll click on this image because I have assigned the macro here already. And then I'm gonna select the worksheet unprotect test file which is xlsx click ok and it would say workbook and worksheet protection passwords have been removed let's take a look it has created a new file I'll open this file and as you can see I'm in worksheet 1 I can already type anything if I do the right click, it doesn't ask for a password anymore. It doesn't say it's protected. Same goes with sheet 3. I can go ahead and type anything here. Alright, so it works. Now let me close this and um, say I'll delete this file. And then we're going to test a new file which is this one. This workbook is password protected. and worksheet protected so I'm gonna close this and run this macro I'll select the workbook unprotect test file click OK and it's giving us an error so the source says that this VBA code will remove the password for a workbook protected and a worksheet protected workbook but it doesn't do the job perfectly so let's have another test for the first VBA code let me show you another file which is worksheet unprotected test file with file extension XLSB sheet 1 is also protected same as for the sheet 3 so the only difference is that it was saved in XLSB file. I'll close this and click on this button and select the XLSB file. And it also doesn't work. So the first code only works on XLSX and only able to remove worksheet protection, not including the workbook protection. Now let's go ahead and try the second VBA code. This code works for Excel 2010 and lower versions. Now if you're working on this 
for let's say 2013, 2016, and 2019 versions, supposed to be it won't work. But I've made some modifications so that it will work properly. So these are the additional codes that I have. This one, except for this, and then this one is mine. Now let's take a look on the contents of the PW breaker. It's in module 2 and this is the source on where I got this code and I've made some modifications already so that it would work properly. What it does is that it will automatically save the workbook first in Excel 97 to 2003 type of workbook or actually that's with the extension file that XLS. Once it's saved in that format, it will run the code so that it would be able to remove the password. Let's go ahead and try. Here, um, we still have the uh, .xlsx file with the worksheet protection. Same as for the xlsb file, which still has the worksheet password or protection. So I'm going to click on this image to run the macro and select xlsx file. Continue and it says successful. This is the xlsx file. And now I can go ahead and type anything in uh, sheet 3, same as with sheet 1. Now let me close this file. I'm gonna save it. Go back to our folder. It has created the same file name, but instead it's now in XLS file extension. Same contents but with no worksheet protection. Now, let's close this one, and I'm gonna delete this, so you'll see only three files in the test files um, folder. Now, let's try doing it in the .xlsb file. I'm gonna close this, because this is the new um, worksheet or I should say new workbook so it's also removing the worksheet uh, protection or password but what it does is that it converts it into that XLS file extension you can just go ahead and save it as a different file format back to XLSX for example or XLSB or XLSM. If you don't want to run any VBA code just to remove the worksheet password protection, we can do that by manually removing the password and I'm gonna show you how. So this file, for example, is still the same file that we're working on, which has a protection in sheet 1 and sheet 3. Alright, so let me close this. This is the file and we're just gonna change the extension into zip. Are you sure you want to change it? Just click yes. Now you don't want to directly open it by double clicking on this one. Because if you make some changes here, you won't be able to save anything. So what you want to do is right click from this file, extract all. I would recommend to create a new folder 
there you go any folder would work and then I'm just gonna go inside it click on this one so I could get the path and then I'll replace the path here paste it show extracted files when complete and the extracted files will be shown in this path or in this folder which is this one click extract there you go so here's the contents you want to go to Excel and then worksheets we only have the password on sheet 1 and sheet 3 what you want to do is open the file using notepad double click on this and select the notepad or what you can do is right click open with notepad either way would work and then from here you can press Control F and search for the word protection there you go so actually the exact word that we're looking for is sheet protection and then you want to go to the left part of the uh, less than sign and you want to highlight everything until you see the greater than sign here once highlighted you can go ahead and delete and then save the notepad once saved you can close it and then you'll do the same thing on sheet 3 Alright, so here's the code. I'm gonna highlight everything until greater than sign. This okay. Delete, save, close, and just a quick check. We'll open the sheet two and look for protection. You won't be able to find anything because this sheet doesn't have a password. Alright, so once done, you want to go to the new folder, select all files, right click, send to, and then compressed zip folder. This is the created zip folder and you just want to change the extension into xlsx file type so we're putting it back to xlsx are you sure you want to change it yes from here you can also change the file name at the same time so we can just say test one that's fine once we open this file it would show you the same contents but sheet 1 doesn't have a password or protection anymore same as with sheet number 3 it doesn't just work with that xlsx file type it also works with that xlsb file one more thing that you need to know is that your original file is still here you're just gonna change the extension back to xlsx There you go, you can still open the file, but still with worksheet protection. Those are your options in removing the worksheet protection. You have the VBA code and the manual process of removing the worksheet protection. So you can choose whichever process works for you. Thanks a lot for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel for more Excel and macro tutorials.